it. Uh, next, we're gonna bring up TJ. He's gonna he's a lacrosse historian and native historian. Come talk to you guys. Get some moves. I am in tears here just listening to your coaches talk about their love for the game. I, I heard to apologize uh, for your emotions is to apologize for the truth, so I'm not going to say sorry for that. That is, that is amazing. Thank you, coaches. Thank you for that. Y'all want to go and make your night out. Well, I do believe language and culture is important, so I'd like to introduce you in my people's traditional language as well. We say, Sigoli, Nariolewis, Skenagoga, Skenago, Mugdukdani, Wagitalota. Oniada aga ni e, Uguayewe ni e, Liguedio ni yuggyaks. I just said in Oneida, greetings, what is the news? Are you with peace? I am with peace. I am Turtle Clan. I am people of the Standing Stone. I am Oneida, and my Oneida name means he is a good man. And it is an honor, it is a privilege. I am just so incredibly grateful to be here with each and every one of you. And I want to talk to you today about the first lacrosse game ever, as I've been told. And in, for the different Haudenosaunee nations, there'll be somewhat different variations. We talk about those different peoples, the Mohawk, Oneida, Onondaga, Cayuga, Seneca, Tuscarora. But part of our creation story, as Chief Orrin Lyon says, that we were playing this game on the other side of the stars when this world was filled with water. That's how old our game is. And when we die, it's believed we're buried with our wooden lacrosse sticks because we're playing on the other side as well, too. We're not done yet. So I'll tell you about this first game. This first game ever between the two-leggeds and the four-leggeds. And as they get ready to go, as you know how it goes, y'all are lacrosse players. You go into your, your team warm-ups, your huddles. You're doing your line drills, things of that nature, whatever they were doing. They were getting going. And as they were warming up, um, over to the to the side of the, the two-leggeds, when you think of the two-leggeds, you're thinking of the eagle, hawk, bird, falcon. The birds of the air are your two-leggeds. Uh, and the four-leggeds would be the deer, bear, wolf, a, a lot of impressive animals, right? So uh, they're getting ready to go. Over walks to the two-legged animals are a couple of four-leggeds, and it's the squirrel, and it is the rat. And then the two-leggeds are like, whoa, 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 what are y'all doing here? Go back to your side, your four legs, go over there. We're, do we're doing team strategy, get out of here. And they're like, well, you know, we, we tried to play with the four-legged animals, but when we tried to play with them, they laughed at us. They, they said, they said you're just going to get in the way. Get out of here. You, you can't play with us. And they said, all we want to do is please the creator with our game. That's what this game is for. The creator has given it to us to please the creator with our game. We just want to please the creator with the game. We don't care. We want to play. So the two-leggeds think about it. They're like, okay, okay. Somebody, somebody get a drum. Because even the two-leggeds and four-leggeds use drum in ceremony then as well, too. So they say, somebody get the drum, they bring the drum over, and they take the leather from the drum, and they say, oh, okay, okay, uh, okay, rat, you, you lay down first. So the rat lays down, they take some leather, they put it on this arm, they put it on this arm, and then there you go, the bat is formed. So now the bat is ready to go, the bat's like, okay, I'm ready. But they ran out of leather, so they take the squirrel, they say, okay, squirrel, you lay down. So the squirrel lays down, and they stretch and stretch and stretch and stretch, and the flying squirrel is there. So I got the flying squirrel and the bat, and now the game is ready to be played. The first game ever of the creator's game. And it's going back and forth, back and forth, going back and forth. It's an, it's an intense game, but it's gonna come right down to the last goal, as it does for the best games. And as they're going, the final goal of the game, as I'm told, the eagle passes it to the hawk, to the falcon, who then passes it to the bat, passes it to the flying squirrel, catch, finish, goal, ball game, two leggeds win. So and that's, that's the game right there, right? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And the idea of that story is that no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, you can please the creator with your game. That no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, you can please the creator with your game. And I know that's what each and every one of you do. I watch your highlights. You all are one of the best teams in the world. You're one of my favorite teams of all time. And what you all are doing here is historic. It's incredible. That's right, that's right. Give it a round of, a round of applause for what you all are doing. It is incredible. And getting your coaches out here wanting to do it in the right way, right? It is incredible. And I know for, for a long time, you know, it was a, the, the, the men would play, and it'd sometimes be anywhere from 100 to 1,500 players. The, the game could be from 100 yards to a few miles away. It would be the first to a few goals. This could last a few hours, this could last a few days. 
but the idea is that it's a you would do it in lieu of war. Instead of going into war, you'd play a game of lacrosse. And everyone would be, would be matched up from like one person, however your six skills are, they'd have someone equally on the other side. They'd go back and forth, back and forth, for a long time. And um, in 2016, one of the clan mothers for the Haudenosaunee, and the clan mothers are what our Supreme Court is based off of, but one of the, the clan mothers, uh, they talked about it, say, when, when I say, when people say that women don't play lacrosse, I say that's how it used to be. But now I'm saying, I give, I give women permission. Like, women, women play this game too. As it was her, it was her daughter, and there's, it is an incredible documentary called Keepers of the Game. Anyone seen that one as well too? Show of hands, Keepers of the Game. Highly recommend it. A phenomenal film as well too. And, it, and there's uh, one of the players there, her name is Jabu, and she talks about like, this game has saved me. This game has brought me out of some tough times. Like, how, this game is good medicine for me. How is this a bad thing? And the idea is this, this is your game, this is our game. We are all connected, we are all relatives. Just wanna say to each and every one of you, Yawonko, Ganalunkwa, and Nugiwa, which means thank you, I love you, until next time in Oneida. Thank you, I love each and every one of you. Thank you very much. Passing the baton here to whoever is up next. <laughs> and I am introducing here,